I love Star Trek. But can I call myself a Trekkie if I can't speak Klingon? Well, today is a good day to learn because now Duolingo offers free Klingon lessons. Duolingo is a free language learning app. You can also use it on your desktop through a web portal. I've used Duolingo to brush up on my Spanish, but now anyone can test their tongue with the complicated sounds of Klingon, like shh and huh. The Duolingo system is interactive, quizzing you with images and helping the vocab stick with repetition, making you speak and type out answers. The course was designed by five Klingon-speaking superfan volunteers, and it has the official license and seal of approval from CBS, which owns the rights to Star Trek. So how do you design a course for a fantasy language? To answer that, I spoke to the Klingon lead course contributor, Felix Malmanbeck. Hi, all right, good Hi. to see you. I got to start off with how does one become an expert in Klingon? That's, that is a good question. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I got here myself. Uh, I originally, you know, browsed various sites on the internet uh, and then eventually ended up getting, let's hear if I can find it, the, uh, Klingon Dictionary by Mark Okrand, uh, looks like this. Um, and uh, that is pretty much how you get started. Uh, this book is like a really comprehensive guide to the grammar. Uh, if you enjoy it, then it makes for, you know, like three or four nights worth of pleasant night reading. There are real grammar rules for Klingon. It was created by linguist Mark Okrand for the Star Trek franchise. The Klingon speaking community is sort of, uh, or at least most active Klingon speakers have this canon policy that only Mark Okrand is allowed to make up new words and grammar rules. Uh, he actually he didn't institute that rule himself. It's actually like just us thinking if we if we spread this out too much, it's going to start the language is going to start getting too nice to us. Essentially, it's going to be conform too much to our expectations. Uh, and also we're going to have, we might get these like different schools of thought about how Klingon should be spoken. The course development started in 2015. And since then, nearly 170,000 Duolingo users have shown interest in signing up for Klingon. My goal has been to gradually introduce grammar and then hit people with lots of vocabulary uh, and try to make the sentences at least occasionally a bit fun to help them just sort of encourage them to get over that first uh, barrier to entry when you're learning a language. I, I feel like it's a little bit of a mean language. Like the, some of the examples uh, were like, he's young and stupid <laughs> or some of the things. Because yes. I mean, it, 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 it is a tough culture, I would say. But like yes. I saw, we are big, you are small. Um, yes. uh, I. I, I, I got to learn the pronunciation here. I guess that, that's another thing yeah. about Duolingo. You can actually hear it, right? So, yeah. so Matlin Sumach, you know, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably not doing it right, though. <laughs> uh, you were close, but it's uh, Matlin Sumach. Duolingo needed special programming to handle Klingon. No Earth language uses apostrophes in the middle of words. And Klingon has case sensitivity. So a word can take on a different meaning if it is capitalized or lowercase. Is there yes. a reason why some letters are capitalized? Is there a rule for capitalization, or does it depend on the word? Uh, with the with the consonants, a sort of general rule is that if it's capitalized, then it's not pronounced the way it is in English. Uh, so, for instance, the capital H isn't a H, huh, but rather it's a H, and the capital S is not a S, but rather a H. What's a good starter uh, Klingon phrase or two, or even word? A good starter would be, for instance, uh, uh, is the classic. It means success. And it's used uh, in all sorts of situations. It can mean good luck, well done, Godspeed, uh, you didn't fail completely. Uh, all right. It was because yes. if I read it, I want to say kapla, but it's. It, or... Yes. As you say, like a lot of people, they say ka. Pla, uh, but what you want to do is actually cup la. Cup la. Yes, very good. <laughs> How 
tough is the app going to be on my pronunciation? I'm going to have to really practice uh, this. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, definitely. I currently have quite a lot of trouble with the sound. I have a bit of a cold actually, so uh, don't take my my uh, sound too seriously. Although actually, yeah, might actually help a bit, I guess. <laughs> To all you language warriors looking for a good challenge, good luck and kapla.